he said, you know, AI is the new SaaS. Like it's this and I saw this trend starting because like you get it, you build native services, you're locked into the cloud, right? Yeah. So then when I saw everybody just wanted to virtualize their machines, yeah. basically instead of a physical server, a virtual server, this is more expensive. Of course. Cause... And the reason they did that is because they said, I don't trust you, AWS. Yeah. I might want to move to Microsoft. Right. So I'm going to take my machine with me. I'm not going to build on your tools. But I want to be able to take that VM and just move it right to the yeah. inside. So now you got companies getting out of physical infrastructure into the cloud yeah. in the least cost optimized way yeah. so that they can move again. And then they're getting so big that they're like, we might as well light up our own data center. And some of them are. And then of course, and then bring in AI now is the tip of the is the tip of that iceberg. Because, you know, I actually Satya Nadala of Microsoft, I think one point said it, he said, you know, AI is the new SaaS. Like, it's, this, it's now the cap on software as a service, because now you have a lot of the software as a service, but what are you going to do now? You, you want to an AI enable it in, in some way, because you're delivering a service, but now with AI, you can deliver a better experience. Um, whether that's because of actionable insights that AI can enable in real time, uh, or in terms of like a better user experience, better dashboards. So it's still software as a service. Like AI is really just software as a service by a different name. We now have just been able to get all of this knowledge and information to talk back to us. All. We've never been at a point in the world, in our existence, that we could communicate and interact with knowledge in such a way. Exactly.